Mirabol on the Medic. Uh, Huey tagged up as Moderat on Demoman. Sorex on Scout. Mister on Engineer. Ortilordi face on Sniper. I don't actually know who that is. Um, you may have to help me there. Raf on Spy. Beep on Pyro. Samzy on Heavy. And Torsen on the Soldier. There's a As you couple talking, of stuff you happening. said nothing oh, had happened. I, I missed it. I missed Sprayer it. dropped his Oh Uber. my god. <laughs> and I wouldn't have noticed that because I was too engrossed in you reading them out to me. But Sprayer did actually drop that Uber, which is going to really hinder their performance on being able to defend this point. 100% advantage in favor of Admirable. I believe he actually gets forced really early in that tunnel, though. Uh, goes down to 40 HP, and he isn't going to be wanting to commit to this. It's on 60 HP. He's going to be backing off a bit. He's going to be captured in 47 points. Um, so, I mean, you know, that's just kind of a throwaway point. Nothing too serious holding on there. Hearts has quite a far back sentry, which is kind of different. You'd usually see it on the platform just behind the B hut. But it looks like he's going to be putting it on that little bridge where the scout's behind him, though. So he's going to call for backup to help him there. And a bit of pressure is going to be on to B. But obviously, Sprayer dying and then Torsen actually picking off Sprayer again there. That's really going to be slowing down the chess if they want to be able to hold these points. Oh, wow. Yeah, some good picks by Torsen going big. Raf and Torsen combining together to get a double med pick over there. And this is just going to be sort of a, just a slow push now for uh, uh, Stacks. They slowly get in there. They're going to take off a couple of little picks. They pick up Atomic there. And then just slowly move their way in. And um, and Kalis actually goes down there. He tried to jump in. Not going to be able to do anything. And now slowly try and get as much time up as possible. Trying to get as more picks as possible. There we go. Yeah, T Tom's going to be going down. So j an easy B point now with that double med pick. Sprayer yeah, not able to do anything for his team, basically. <laughs> Yeah, it's loved them down a lot for holding B and also for holding C because now there's a couple of players down for Chess Club, nothing too major, but that 100% Uber is in favor of Stacked. And Maribel is going to be in control of when he wants to use this. They could use it to push into last if they'd like to. Looks like they're just kind of working their way around. You know, B's almost capped. They kind of have control of the situation. A really fast time for these two points in two minutes, 10 seconds. They're going to start the push onto last. Spray is going to be going down early in that exchange and they're going to try and make their way up to the top as fast as they can. And Maribel getting juggled around by that second a little bit hearts doesn't really know where to put the sentry he places it again but gets headshot really nice work from waterlord there and they're on the c point four players left live absolutely astonishing time two minutes 30 for stacked and honestly i don't see chess being able to beat that no i think this is basically just a throw away a, th a, th a, th a throw away round for them right now because it's just incredibly fast it's not the fastest i've seen i think i remember a friend of mine telling me about a 1 minute 30 time he got. But 2.30 is pretty goddamn fast. It's not going to go... Like, it, 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 it like it's going to be really hard for them to get a, a time like that. But we might as well run through the chess roster while we're here. So if you'd like to take that away with your dulcet tones, Mr. Hayden. Here we have Cal Kazool on Spy, Scissors on Pyro, Sprayer on Medic, Tomic on Scout, Atomicus on Heavy, Kalos on Demo, T on Soldier, Mr. Rev on Sniper, and Hearts on Engineer. Okay, so we've got that set up. We'll see if <laughs> Stack can do any better. It's, I mean, we could just jinx it and say that Ad Admirable's the best medic ever, and he's never going to drop. And then, of course, because of the curse of the caster heat, that means he's going to drop within the first 50 seconds. So Doing I mean, some work for chess there. Can happen. Helping yeah. him out a oh, little bit. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sorry, no. I'm supposed to be biased. I'm supposed to not be biased. This is really bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, we're going to see Chess just putting a little bit of pressure uh, towards the air bombs. Uh, bomb site? Sorry, counter strike. <laughs> they're going to go to a, the air point and they're going to peek through connector as well, just trying to get a little bit of spam on towards C and maybe through to B if they'd like to. Uh, honestly, as I said, the first round is just kind of a throwaway point. They don't really want to be focusing on that too much, but uh, keeping admirable this uh, round alive is important if they lose admirable and admirable drops just like sprayer did then that's going to be absolutely crucial but ubers are being exchanged because all's going to be making his way towards the sentry trying to get a little bit of sap onto that maybe get the engineer down if he can sapping and causing a distraction and uh, now it's just going to be a little bit of a back and forth it is being captured they need again suppression to be but sentry's going to be going down medic's still alive on b though so it could be a little bit difficult but without that sentry it's going to make it a lot easier they're going to start making their way back onto the point and a lot of players are being exchanged from both teams mist is already getting a sentry back up though really nice engineer player there keeping that alive sprayer going down anatomicus and a lot of players from chess going down and uh, i'm pretty much calling this a gg right now i'd be impressed if they were able to capture b and c in under one minute 20. It's going to be tough, but I mean, they, they came in so strongly there, because um, Huey getting picked out nice and early um, meant Stacked were in a bad position, and then Admirable drops Samzy, dropping his heavy before his Uber, and that's just so bad, but 
the pyro player beep just blasting everyone back, keeping them on that C point, keeping them away from the sentry was just so good there that uh, Ch Chess just weren't able to deal with it. And then with Spray getting headshot as well, leaving them with a 50% Hooper advantage here right now, it's going to be tough. Especially as Scissors and Kalis are going to be going down there to some quick work by Samzi and Soros. And with some counter frags coming in now, Blue picking up quite a few flags right now. But there's still the big combo players left alive for Stacked. So that's going to be admirable. Uh, Huey, Samzi and Beep able to just defend this point for, well, as long as they like. Especially with Admirable still on that 100% Uber. Blue just feeding players in right now. This this is just a, like a, a, a lost round for Chess right now. The, the time was just too good for them to do anything about it. Yeah, definitely. 2 minutes 30 is an incredibly fast time. Honestly, Stack deserved to hold that point for as long as they did, though. I mean, the the as you said, the power that Chess came into the bombsite, uh, oh, bombsite, sorry, Counter-Strike, <laughs> came into B with is incredible, but Stack just couldn't really hold them off. Um, or Stack could hold them off as well as they'd like to because Chess, they had that power, but if Stack wouldn't have held that off, uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. No. I don't know. I stopped listening it's, to you anyway. Yeah, yeah, Stack deserved that, honestly. That yeah, is, it was. Are they playing best of one on Gravel Pit and then switching to Gully? I've no idea. I think best of I... three Gravel Pit, which is going to be hell. Okay, yeah, best so of it's going to be a best of three. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's horrible. Stack starting out on... Uh, at least, at least it was nice and quick. Ho ho hopefully we get a, a couple more quick rounds, because to be honest, I hate Gravel Pit. It's a horrible map. Oh. Yeah, it's wicked. No. Not just negative. No, it's it's a horrible map. I just nope. dislike it ever so much. Let's go to proper maps like Gully Wash and Viaduct. No, Wait, this, this is a Highlander Finals and neither Upward or Badwater are in it. What <laughs> What is wrong with these teams? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of 5CP. I'd rather watch this than uh, Gully Wash. No, God, no. Gully Wash is way better than Gravel Pit. Gravel That's Pit should be it's put boring. in a small corner and shamed forevermore as a terrible map. Like, with a big dunce cap on it, and just be like, every, every time it's tried to say something, it, it's laughed at, right? It's laughed at. Just like, like, when John's at school or something. <laughs> that was I will get you back later for that. There you go, John's <laughs> threatening you and nobody can hear it. Uh, I, I know, it's great. I can just um, say these things and I, I, there's, there's no repercussions. Anyway, Stacked we're going to be going into our second side. round. Yeah, sorry, Stacked defending, <laughs> chess offending. I and mean, then we're going to see exactly how they want to push this. Now Chess get the time, uh, get the chance to set the time wherever they may want to do that. It looks like they're committing to A very quickly, actually bringing their medic out, which is actually quite ballsy. I mean, if their medic gets picked off, Sprayer dying in this could actually be crucial if they can get any kind of pressure on it. Atomic's just going to be sat onto the point. It looks like they're going to be wanting to push on to B through connector from A or through C. Um, I'm not entirely sure whether they're actually walking through now. Yeah, they're through uh, A to B connector right now. Going to be walking through. Uber is at 100%. Try not to get forced. They use it quite early, though. I, I don't think that was a force. I think they just decided to pop it early. Count Uber is going to be coming back on. Back around the corner. Pyro is going to be ruining uh, Chess's Uber as well. And honestly, only a couple players going down for stacked, whilst many more are going down for Chess. Sprayer managing to stay out of that and getting out alive, which is, again, essential and uh, now three players left alive for Chess Club. I don't know how they managed to get out of that, but Sprayer staying alive, not healing anybody, but staying alive is quite crucial right now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if if he stays back and does get it, they, they, they can get a second repush, not too far in the future. But with the marble and that sort of 20% advantage that he's got right there, it's going to be tough for them. Especially if they get forced again so early like they did that time. Not quite sure what, what, what went on, like you say. I think maybe he got scared of the sniper because Sprayer had gone down to him a couple of times so far in, in the first round. And he, he, he just popped it out of fear, I think, maybe a little bit. Yeah, definitely. On this B-bomb site, there is a couple of sight lines Bomb that site. you kind of have. Oh, the B <laughs> site, the B capture, capture point. point. <laughs> There's a lot of sight lines. Uh. There's a lot of places that you do actually have to be kind of cautious. So it would make sense to pop early to make sure that you don't get caught off by uh, the sniper. And Maribel's got that 100% though, so this B hold is going to be ever so much more easier. Chess is only just coming up to 100% in the next couple of seconds, so Spray is going to have to choose exactly where they want to go oh. with this. Hey. Hello? Am I still here? Hello? Oh, okay. I think I am. Let's keep casting this. <laughs> Red okay. is possibly making a move. No, it's not. It's just going to be Kalis and T. They're going in early because Zul as well, he's going to get picked off. So a couple of players down for uh, Chess Club now, but they milk the Uber long enough. Atomicus is in a much better position. He's going to try and... Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's not going to be enough. Yeah, they, they got an extra couple of seconds of Uber out of that. 
but it's not going to be enough with the sentry spam and the demo spam from Huey and from Sanzi as well. He's just going to be able to destroy everything. Tomicus does pick up uh, Huey, tagged up as moderate there. I'm not quite sure why he is. Maybe because he's not a very good player and he's trying to he's trying to proclaim that he's a moderate level player, which is you know probably true. But anyway, he's tagged up as that, so he's going to be picked off. And just teams again stalemating. You know, this is why I don't like gravel pits because B is a horrible point, and it just stalemates and it's boring to cast. And I've got to think up insults. Which, you know, is it is fun, but <laughs> Hell, it's just insult everybody playing rather than analyzing what's happening. Well well, well none of them are Emilio, so I mean <laughs> then they're, they're not the best. Alright, I see how this is. Cause all's gonna be trying to get onto that sentry, trying to sap something, but Huey's gonna be able to take him down very early. T's gonna be sat onto the site, trying to bomb uh, jump out, but Samsi's gonna be able to take him down as well. Solid hull from stacked again, just like we saw the first round. It is not because Gravel Pit is a bad map. It's honestly just because a quality hull is coming out from stacked. They're being able to slow down any kind of push, any kind of coordination that chess want to use onto it. Like we saw Kazul trying to sap the sentry. That just can't completely shut down, and they're doing a nice work individually and as a team to just slow down anything chess want to do and that's exactly why uh stack to being able to like carry out this time for so long yeah i mean there's nothing special about this hold either it's literally just the standard gravel pit hold yeah they've got a teleporter set up on the roof so they can stick their heavy up there every now and then but i really do think they're just playing it really really well and chess are just not on form you know i i've seen them play much better than this yeah, definitely. It is, it is kind of a fear. I guess stuck to beat uh, Chess in the upper bracket finals, so it's kind of like trying to get revenge, but they're just kind of being sloppy about everything. Like, Kazul, I'm watching Kazul right now. I don't think he's going to be able to get anything. Spray is actually going to be popping that Uber very early. I assume that was a force, and the Pyro's doing a really nice job on pushing that back. So great force out there. Admirable actually had to pop his Uber. I don't know if he was trying to take that into them or what he was trying to do, but that really nullified any kind of advantage they had. So really nice work from both teams. Uh, that Uber exchange not a very good push they're really not getting any picks they're not getting any kind of pressure onto the sentry Rafi's trying to go for a backstab but he's not going to be able to get it hearts is just sat on the right hand side of the sentry pistoling down a level three with his mini sentry he's been rescue range and he can't do anything about it but he's going to be persistent and he's going to keep trying oh rev just pokes his head around the corner he's going to be picking up uh samzy there um but it's not going to get anything else done he's not going to be able to go for the medic and now a uh, torsen jumps him also, does go down to the mini sentry from Hearts, though. They, they, they've, they've taken up this position, and Chess just don't seem to care about it, really. Um, which may actually be their doom, because now there's an Uber coming in from that C point. They're going to maybe be caught in a little bit of a scissor movement. <laughs> scissor movement from Chess, sorry. Um, and, uh, and now, uh, Stack, they've lost a lot of players and the, all of the engineer stuff, and now they've got the height disadvantage. I say that. In comes Samzi. Getting picked off early, it was the right thing for him because he comes in from, from the top, starts cleaning people up. Admirable has gone down though, but he's just going to come in from behind and I think Stacked are going to hold this. Yeah, it, it looks likely. Chess started off with a great push. They managed to sap the sentry, got a lot of work onto it. We saw Beep air blasting uh, che uh, Sprayer away from the site as well. So it was just really nice coordination right there. Chess started off strong, but then Stack just came out with the DM, completely just cleaned up uh, the entire... Um, uh, stacked cleaned up the entire of chess and they just weren't able to do anything about that and then respawns coming in it allowed time uh, for stacked to reset up and uh, i'm not yeah there's a level one here there's no pressure coming towards mister right now so it, honestly it's just a little bit of a waiting game seeing if chess can get any kind of pressure onto it but uh, it doesn't seem likely stacked are doing a terrific job and being able to hold this yeah they really are i mean they're just playing it so well and just coming in at the right times as well i mean they lose a player every now and then. I mean, with Torsen down, that sort of weakens their flanks. But now with Huey going down as well, this could be an opportunity for Chess. They are exactly equal Ubers. I looked and they were both 71% there. So it, it could be an advantage, especially as the fact that... Well, I say that and they lose three players. So maybe not anymore. Something, something casts his curse. I yeah. think that's how this, this works. Yeah. Uh, Chess are going to be able to get a bit of pressure onto it. Sprayer, I I think Sprayer probably just wants to hold onto this Uber, but Stacked are going to be able to repush this. Admirable is going to be going in with Samzi onto the bombs, uh, the control point, not the bomb site. Going to be making his way. Ubers being exchanged, just kind of juggling each other around. And Admirable is going to be able to get out of this, I think. 
uh, really, honestly, Czechs would have needed to get this uh, really fast. Uh, they needed to get some more pressure onto the site much faster. They're not going to be able to get that, and Maribel goes down. Even if they lose this control point now, it would mean that they have a solid time to work with for Stacked when they go onto the offensive side. But as I say that, there's only a sniper <laughs> and a spy left alive for Chess Club. I just don't know what's going wrong. And you say that, and Mr. Rev immediately goes down, and there goes the school. <laughs> so that is basically an entire wipe for Chess right there. They've just got some spawns rack up. But Stack just holding this this point for so long. They're just playing it so well and just using the underconfidence, I think, of Chess right here. As you say, they lost to them in the, in the upper bracket. They don't seem to be playing too well to the, to, today. Maybe they just need to get their heads in the game. I would say yeah. high school musical, this is but pit. that would be embarrassing. Yeah, don't do that. That's a bad yeah. idea. <laughs> Mr. Rev's getting a nice shot onto Waterlord right there. Uh, Chess, maybe this is their warm-up map. Maybe they don't care about Gravel Pit and they just plan on taking it to a third map, a Viaduct. It's possible. I'd be in interested to see exactly what they do about that. I mean, Chess just really can't do anything about pushing this site. There's 50 seconds left, and if they don't do that, all Chess need to do is... Uh, all, all Stack needs to do is cap one point, and that could easily just be the A-bomb site, and then they'd be done with it. Uh, now, Torsen's going to be blowing his... I believe that was Conch... Uh, but nothing comes out of that either. Uh, Admirable's going to be going down. Sprayer's got that Uber. They need to get onto it. Sprayer drops. Waterlord getting a big headshot. And uh, they, I think they're going to be able to get this. I think they're going to cap B. That's really going to lengthen out this game. But I think they're going to be able to get it. Soldier's going to be bombing onto C. It looks like they just want to try and make as much pressure onto C as fast as they can. They have people on B. Uh, but the respawners are going to be coming in from stack very quickly. And Soldier's being blown off of the C point. I think they are going to get this B just in time, oh. <laughs> which gives them another three minutes to try and get this C. There's going to be a double bomb in on that last point, but Kalis is going to go down to Torson. Torson maybe even going to pick up another one onto Tom. So that's two down now, stacked. Even though they looked in such a bad position, they keep hold of this C point. And with an eight minute, 55 time to cap two points and stacked still holding onto this C, it is not looking good for Chess on this map. I I don't think this would have been their map. If, if they came in from the lower bracket, Stack would have picked the first map, right? So this is Stack's map. This is the one they feel most comfortable on. No, it's the home team pick. Home team pick? Of course, Ryushi. Why didn't you know that? Come on. Because I don't play UGC. Step up your game. TF2. I don't know. Oh yeah, I suppose <laughs> this, this is this is Chess's server then. So they're the home team. They pick Gravel oh, Pit and yet they're getting destroyed. Sorex rushed in for the heavy. He was close to getting the medic. I believe he did actually... Sprayer went down. There we go. Rafi managing to take down Sprayer just after that. It's a really nice job there. Uh, now it's just a waiting game. They need to coordinate this push on the last, but Sprayer is only just going to be respawning. Massive Uber disadvantage. I, I just don't see them being able to cap this last point. And even if they do, that's going to be around like a 11, 12 minute time. Uh, and yeah. like that's that's just difficult to push. Like that just isn't going to be happening. I think they just need to like just ignore this map altogether and then move on because... This is not going well for them. This is just going to demoralize them and just turn them off. They're not playing well. They're not playing together. The stack is just outplaying them completely on this map. If they just, like, sort of went, you know what, sod it. We're just going to stop and just, like, have a bit of fun for the rest of the map and then get your head serious, play seriously for the next two maps and win those, that, that, that would work a lot better for them. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, what they need to do is they need to kind of take this as, all right, we have two more maps to be able to do something about this, but that could still be difficult. And it, it does also kind of add pressure. It's like, if I make any single mistake, then we lose the game and we lose the finals. So it, there, there definitely is pressure on this. So I don't know. Let's see if Chess can do it. I, like, I, I'm like, i not going to count them out of this. I think they can still maybe do something on the next two maps. Just this map, I'm probably counting them out. I don't see anything drastic happening. The Uber's going to be coming in, though. Admirable's going to be popping it much later, so that Uber's going to be lasting much longer as well. That's a quick fix for starters. Oh, uh, well, quick fix, of course. And Maribel's going to be, oh, surfing through the air. He gets shut down by scissors. They're going to be on that bomb, uh, that, that control point. Not a bomb site. They cap it. Impressive. I'm not going to lie. 11 minutes, 23. Uh, Impressively bad. Impressive of actually being able to cap it, not like the time. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay uh, I, I'll take I'm, that. I'm probably going to put it down to partially of Admirable having quick fix, but that's whatever. Now, yeah, quick fix is good. For holding last? Like, Why I, not? Okay. Why not? It's, it stops all knockback, so you can't get air blasted off the point. I guess so. I mean, like, I, I've seen the quick fix being pushed into last, uh, into the C bo uh, point, because you can throw your medic on the top of uh, the little spire 
control point thing with your soldier or your demo. So, I mean, I, I'd understand if they were attacking. I just was kind of surprised of seeing it on defense. Either way, Stacked have 11 minutes and 23 seconds to be able to do something about uh, the next three control points. And honestly, I don't doubt them a second. With their 2 minute 30 second time for three points last time, uh, then I'm, I'm pretty much calling it this round. Or maybe they'll choke and lose. We'll find out. Well, Chess have uh, shaken it up a little bit here. They've switched up the central position. It's not the normal position that we see. And it's going to be interesting to see what they do here. They've put an aggressive forward hold from their uh, demo, Kalis, but he's just going to bat out now. And now a lot of players looking to move forward onto that B point for stacked. Might be a bit dangerous there. There's still that sticker trap. It does get cleaned up, though. And the first blood is going to be taken down. So it's Kazul. I think he dead ringed, actually, there. So not too much first blood. But now there's going to be a spy in from behind. Let's see if Raph can do the same thing that he did last time. He No, he, he whiffed the stab. And puts a sapper on the Sentry Gun, which does actually get taken down. So that might be a big play for them right there. If Stack can move in here and oh, play off yeah. the fact that there is no Sentry. Yeah, Hearts has been completely spammed out. The demo, uh, Huey actually managing to take down his level one again. No real follow-up on that. I believe their team got bullied out. Yeah, Huey went down. Tolson went down as well. And Waterlord is just going to be taken down by Atomic there. So really nice taking down that level three. He is going to have time to rebuild it. Uh, but honestly, great pressure. If they'd have been able to keep it up with an actual push, it would have been all right. But they do have players on uh, A, so it was kind of understandable why they wouldn't be able to do that. Rafi Raf's going to be making his way towards the Medic, towards the Sentry. Just going to be seeing what he can get done. Let's see if he's going to be able to get any sick backstabs. Um... And uh, honestly, it's just going to be a bit of a waiting game, waiting until Stacked are ready to push. Uh, I believe Rafi Rafi is just going to be waiting until he has the time to push, but the Pyro is going to be able to, uh, to catch him out. And that's going to be him bullied out of that exchange. So now, just a couple of nice players being exchanged. Nothing really too major happening. Sniper's looking directly at the Medic and the Heavy, but Wardula is going to be able to take down Miss Rev. And now the push should be starting very soon to make some progress onto the B site. I've worked out who this is, who 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 Waterlordy is. It's Ruhei, so that's oh, a lot okay. easier to say than his <laughs> whatever he's tagged up as. But a uh, bit of a failed push there from Stack. They lose a couple of players. Marble stays alive though, and did he make it out? I thought he stepped out. No, yeah, he's back on that A spawn with 100% Uber. Um, are they just looking to force spray now? I think I think I think they must be. Yeah, like, they, they have around 10 minutes to play with. They can just spend time. They don't have to waste their Uber and possibly drop or get, like, some bad Uber exchange. They can just kind of go for suicide plays onto Sprayer, like, maybe get a force out and then use the Uber advantage. Honestly, Stacked are in massive control of the situation right now, and it's just however they want to play it. And right now, the Ubers are going to be exchanged. He kind of got bullied out by that sniper and just kind of got forced. They're going to put a little bit of pressure onto the B-bomb site. I'm not entirely sure what the Sentry is. Sentry's been sapped and is now taken down because Hearts got taken down in the exchange as well. Atomicus is on 47 HP trying to get the medic but not going to be able to get it uh, really solid defense from chess they did lose their sentry they lost a lot of players but they managed to kill the players that are most essential and that's leaving just two players left alive being Huey and Mister uh, and I doubt they're going to be able to repush B alone and that's just going to allow for a nice easy reset up onto B if Hearts is fast enough or if they want to maybe they'll want to fall back to C but with 8 minutes 30 I think they kind of have to go back to B right now well I mean, it, 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 it looked alright for Stack because of their spawns, but Admirable actually spawns after Chess because he stayed alive so long. Should have hit his kill by in there. That would have been much better. But they get a couple of frags on entry. Tom and Kazool are going to be going down. And this should be an easy point because there's not too many Stack uh, Chess Club players here. Kalis actually jumps up top. Going to be looking to see what he can do, but he's going to maybe meet up with the sniper. No, that's a dangerous position for him to be in right there. The fighting is happening in that middle point, but it's going to be... Sort of both teams just posturing at each other right now. They're just trying to see if they can get an edge, see if they can put out a bit of damage before they commit. And that's brought time for Chess to bring this level 3 sentry in right now, although there is a lot of time on the point right now. Zool is going to be going down to Mister. Uh, it, it's just sort of going on and off. Both teams don't really want to commit. There we go. An Uber gets popped onto the point from Chess. They're coming out now. It's going to be a dangerous position. Admirable does not have his Uber yet. He actually dies right there and just a lot happening for Stack that they don't really want to be happening but in comes Sora because he's going to try and get onto Sprayer but no Kayla shuts him down look at Mister yeah really nice play like I we saw um I think yeah Hart started making his way onto the B site but he couldn't really stop him uh, I believe I don't know if that's still up uh, yeah they managed to get a sentry on the C site <laughs> on the top which, yeah. there's a and level 3 there yeah and, and then Mister out DMs Tom as well 
Uh, yeah, like the, there's a level three being set up on there, but now there's a level three from the blue team. Oh, I got sapped. That's a shame. Aww. Yeah, Mister got taken down, so that wasn't uh, being able to do much. But honestly, chess uh, stack. Sorry, I think they just have a bit of fun and a bit of time to play with. Six minutes forty eight to cap the next C control point. Admire uh, no sprayer on quick fix holding that last point. So maybe I was wrong. Maybe quick fix is a viable option for holding. Of course, it's a C. viable option. Well, okay, that was mean. That was rude. If you if you if, if you <laughs> jump your medic and your demo and, and your demo demo up there to defend it, they can't get knocked off with like splash damage or with a pyro. It's a really 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 good way of defending it in in like in in, in a pinch, which they are in a pinch at the moment because Admirable had a huge advantage. Spray has built his first now, but that's only because it's a quick fix and it charges at like three times the speed of light. But they're coming <laughs> in now with Uber. It's going to be countered really easily by this quick fix because in it comes. Yeah, a lot of players going to be going down. Tom getting a, a triple kill there and just uh, frags happening all over this last point a lot of players all over the point but now there's blue there's gonna be a scout coming in it's gonna be Sorix. he's gonna start this cap trying to blast tom away from it he does eventually pick him off and in comes atomic tried to block it but it's not gonna be enough and stack are gonna cap this last point gg yeah that g was gg g map or whatever it is